Fadir Ustun, who joins us here in the studio. He's the executive director of the Turkish think tank, the Foundation for Political, Economic and Social Research, also known as SETA. Kadir, really great to have you back um, on this Thank story. You. Where is all of this going right now in terms of the ground fight? It's at a very dangerous place right now. Uh, Turkey is supporting the rebels against the Assad regime. Assad regime has been trying to encroach in, in areas where Turkey has uh, observation posts. Uh, they've been, they're trying to do what they've done all along for years now, attack civilians, empty out areas, and then take control. But in this case, in Idlib, Turkey doesn't want a new inflow of refugees, it could reach to millions of new refugees of, uh, into Turkey. Uh, to prevent that, Turkey is trying to take military measures on the other side of the border, inside, deep inside Idlib. And of course, Russia is supporting the regime, and regime is doing uh, what it has done uh, f all along. And Turkey is now, this, this time, looking very adamant. It's not going to simply pull out and leave the regime to kill civilians and cause a lot of refugees to go up the north uh, to the Turkish border. Where does this put the relationship between Turkey and Russia? We've seen them, neighbors and allies, on a lot of different fronts, but this is definitely yeah. pitting them at odds. At a difficult, tense uh, situation, I mean, we know Russian uh, strategy, uh, but there, has been, there was an agreement between Turkey and Russia about deconfliction zone in Idlib, uh, the other agreements on deconfliction zones didn't hold up. Uh, d d this is what they've done. Uh, Russia bombarded them by air, caused a lot of refugee, uh, civilians to leave the towns, and then Assad regime would take over. But Turkey doesn't want this playbook to play again in Idlib. Uh, d three million people are there, and it's a big humanitarian disaster. And their excuse is terror organizations, but of course, this is simply an excuse to take over territory. Uh, so it puts the Turkish-Russian relationship at a, at a difficult place. Um, and uh, we may have come to the limits of the mutual, let's say, understanding mutual agreements between Turkey and Russia. You mentioned the humanitarian aspect of this. Turkey has taken in more refugees than any other country. Yes. Um, that's clearly a concern mm -hmm. for officials in Ankara in, de in dealing with the fallout from more violence. Absolutely. I mean, close to 4 million refugees already inside Turkey. Some of them, small amount, went back to areas controlled by Turkey in the north. And Turkey has been inviting international powers, EU, US, others, to do, do actually uh, reconstruction, build houses and uh, schools in these areas so that some, some of the refugees at least could be resettled. But if you have another million, million and a half coming from Idlib, uh, that's just going, going to be uh, impossible. So um, we need to stop the regime from emptying out Idlib uh, and the international community, the U.S. has to help. They yeah. should help. It'll be interesting if the U.S. does, in fact, do a little bit more than send condolences. At but, least at the yeah. diplomatic level, uh, I mean, they, they can do a lot, but, you know, this is the election year. There's not much attention being paid except for the maybe Syrian team uh, down there that has, you know, expressed condolences to Turkey. Uh, that needs to be, uh, that needs to get uh, bigger, that kind of support, and it shouldn't be just uh, tweets and statements, but... Uh, more needs to be done on that front. All right. Kadir Ustin, really appreciate you breaking that down for Thank us. You. Thank you.